Let me do everything I would do with my life to please and honor God. As far as you are still living under the umbrella of the flesh, but anything is bound to happen and most especially lust and true. temptation. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, you have a creator that you answer to. Exactly. <laughs> Welcome to the first episode of the Spark Echo Podcast. I am Imo Victoria Chidima, and we are not here by chance. So this show is brought to you by IFN TV. So please do well to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you'll be notified whenever we post any of our videos. And now let's dive into the introduction. Let me quickly introduce my special host to you for today. On my right hand side, we have the convener of Discovering Purpose. And Purpose school. Discovery, and ministry, school. Discovery and ministry School. And Ministry School. She's a very, very special person. We have divine favor. Wow. Thank you so much. <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you so much. You're welcome Thank on this show. So and on my left, we have the convener of the outpouring ambassador. Don't I call him Pastor Glory. Moses. No, 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 so the topic we have before us is... I hope you also be giving your opinion. Yes, <laughs> ma'am. Of course. Because I'm actually expecting that from you. Ah, uh, uh, <laughs> yes, ma'am. I don't understand. Right. Okay. I put that claim in like this. <laughs> <laughs> so the topic is, is it appropriate for two persons who are dating to live together before marriage? You know, we have had a lot of people now, especially in this generation, Somebody can just wake up one morning and just decide to do something stupid. It's like you just see people who just got into a relationship, they now start living together. So now what's your own opinion about this? Oh, Bobby, this question shake Lego. True, I'm give my sister. No, Pastor David, you have to go first. <laughs> I'm not the head of the family. You are the head of the <laughs> family. <laughs> okay, okay, all right, okay, okay. Let's take it gently like this. Um Actually, the question when we say you asked just now, eh? Yes, like for the now, because of the generation that we are, make I miss out with English and pigeon, you understand? No, Allah, yeah. it's accepted. <laughs> <laughs> so, actually, most of the things that are actually happening are not actually, okay, let me say, if we have to talk off, if we have to speak from the uh, scriptural perspective, there are some of those things are not scriptural, you understand? It is based on. It is based on human no understanding and uh, impute. That is how things are working. So I would love us to really, really dive deeply into this. But I don't have much to say, Shao. Our madam is here. Let, let her cut it for us. You understand? We are ready to eat what you have. God bless you. Okay. Thank you so much, Victoria, for this opportunity. Okay. And yeah. uh, wow. What's the question again, please? I said, is it appropriate for two persons who are dating to start living together before marriage? That's cohabitation, right? Yes. Mm. Okay, so um, as much as people don't like hearing, especially the youth of nowadays, exactly. right? As much as they don't love to hear anything about the scripture, like majority, you know, everything that we are going to be talking about will still like bow down from the scripture. Because I'll start by saying, God is our creator. Yes. He has given you and I a manual, which is the word of God, right? And it's more like, okay, um, you bought something from a producer of a product and you don't have any idea about the product before. Okay. What you want to do is look into the manual to see how that product is used. You know, that would make you use that product efficiently. Mm, my God. So <laughs> that is how God has ah. made everyone on the face of the earth yes. and giving us his word as the Bible, as a as a manual to our oh, lives. You. So wow. as much as we don't want to hear that, everything we need and want is already in the scripture. And we don't get misled. You know, a lot of people run to men of God that men of God are their savior. 
whereas we have something to look into so but now we find it difficult to like take responsibility by spending time and you see that a lot of people you know they waste time doing the wrong things and uh, like taking things the wrong way their perspective about something is so different Mm -hmm. they choose to go by the like by the things of the world they choose to go by the world's way instead of embracing the true character of the scripture about that so um Pastor Moses. No, no, no. Ne- <laughs> never pass on for me. Pass on, give up. <laughs> okay, <laughs> now pass on. Okay. So I've, got, I've collected this. And do you know the worst part is, um, there's not really, there's no scriptural reference um, to what we are actually discussing. Okay. But at least we still have scriptures that can back whatever we are saying. saying you know, everything oh. that you want to say. You imagine like a normal person, an unbeliever outside. I okay. want to convince this person that, okay, you are not meant to live with somebody that you're not married to. Okay. So we don't have scripture for that, but we have scriptures that can back whatever we are saying. Oh, you know, yeah. One thing they don't understand is this person, especially as a lady, this person you are moving it with. The moment you move in with him, just forget it. The, 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 chances, the chances of him getting married to you will reduce. Okay. Because it and feels also, like, you, you don't understand. It yes. feels like, okay, what's the point of going to pay your bride price? What's the point of getting married to you? Since you're already performing yes. the wifely duty of Let me come in you, there. You <laughs> okay? know, there will be no, no commitment. Uh, exactly. The, the essence and the main purpose of that relationship exactly. would not be backed by, like, I feel like when you don't know someone, yeah and you don't know the like the depth of that person you give you you tend to come from a place of respect respect and reverence so what happens when you start cohabiting with someone that at the end of the day will later get married to you you know you you have bridged the gap of exactly you know know, (laughs) and the bible says that um you know the scripture that says um Marriage is honorable yes. and bed undefiled. Yes. Exactly. So the, the scripture is actually complete. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Actually, uh, if I say make I talk some more for waiting on to don't arrange give us <laughs> like normal normal. See the way they see this thing, so uh, is that uh, sometimes uh, some guests, uh, if I they see them from the street, uh, they feel like say they're not wise because yes, see they are not. Normal. You can <laughs> see, 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 because as we see this thing, if not me, eh, ah. make I tell you the truth. <laughs> The girl when we see I go marry, when we see I know say me and you go stay forever. You know say marry now forever. forever now. Exactly. So the girl when we see me, me I go marry, me and you go stay forever and never do anything for your head. Nothing, nothing, no, no female at, at all. all. I go just know, carry you. You don't know your parents. True, you know I don't understand it. though. Ah. See, in fact, there is a saying that said, make I use speech in English for this place. Yeah. They say whether uh waiting, you know, say you go deal with you forever, no need to rush, enter. Yes, so a lot of people they are <laughs> they are they are, they are actually rushing into what they know that it will last forever. Wow. Mm, like exactly. relationship, if you don't deal with get me, I can't date a lady and she will be coming. It is yeah. better, that's why they are called you know. They are, they are something like boundaries in relationship. Most of this, yes. uh, most of our people, they don't understand re- relationship boundaries. Yes. And okay. it is really, really, really affecting. It is not bad for you to date, to, but it is the boundaries that Just, we still yeah. put limitations. Okay, so um, I would love to say something. Okay. Um, looking at it from a perspective that um, Victoria, as you are, um, <laughs> the people of the world, <laughs> <laughs> like, expects you to yeah. um like do the what do things the world's way mm-hmm. and as children of god as believers what sets us apart is actually like doing the things that we are supposed to do and then people will follow the order not the other way around not being influenced by the world but we setting like the the pace for the people of the world to see so um i'm going to say that if you are a single person here and that yeah. desire to be married the honorable way you know try to be different yeah. if you are the only person that makes a difference in your world that's light right there yeah. that's light, that's so? light. and people recognize you you know my mom will always say something she said why are you stealing your own food Something you know that you will eat. Why can't you wait? <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Why can't you wait for it, like for, for the right time before you can eat because it? Because it's for you, actually. Yes. Ah, it's for you. Ah, no, why are you not stealing it? Like, you know, they, maybe it they say well. fast. 
then you now can start eating the food small small so that nobody will see you you know this, this things like this is something you have to wait for the right time mm. see you are saying ah don't worry nothing will happen when we move moving together she was she will stay in another room you will stay in that once you're emotionally attached to that person things will happen mm. and once thi once things happen you've sinned and you will look for lies different things to cover up that sin yes. so for and that does not people, even like, yeah. like it doesn't like bring a lasting marriage exactly. do you understand because a lot the of people say the evil marriage, and the the you just look around the the whole scenario that we are talking about the thing that a lot of people use as an excuse is that they want to know the person more right and you find out that a lot of divorces a lot of marriages like that it was divorce that end them so what do you think do you think that they didn't get to know each other why they were cohabit cohabiting or what do you think went wrong for some moses uh she said make her talk something for, for, for this one eh? i think get with her ah. casually like if you look at normal normal I sometimes and i know that they blame our young girls and young boys actually why because of our forefathers understanding you know say this relationship where we say you see so now we tell our father art to give us then we the art upon they will our generation and bring woman say this upon. is their wife nothing yes why 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 no, because because a, a a foundation has been set this way so some of, sometimes if you are also considering to uh like considering relationship things like this we should also check the foundational Foundation. aspect and the spiritual wow aspect. that's that's because so profound two people well, okay i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry okay see because two people can make up their mind that okay we are determined we are not going to sleep with each other even if okay let me use student now for example a lady can say okay my house my hostel i'm i'm having issue let me go and stay with the guy two people can make decision for them to be disciplined but you know sometimes discipline is not actually the most important thing why because a discipline that is not backed up or being disciplined and you are not backed up from the, the spiritual word god. you know like so, the word of god wow so the, wow, the, 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 wow. So, so i will pastor love, now no, 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 pastor. No, 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 no 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 this one of the pastor issue now you don't see what you want to talk so so i don't just make a post okay you understand so madam what do you get talk for this guy you see um you know anything you don't know will cheat you Wow. If you don't have wow. knowledge about a person, okay, no, no. <laughs> I don't understand why he's Sorry, please like. continue. <laughs> if you don't have knowledge about a particular thing, you will just find yourself you misbehaving. Be that, yes, you'll be so ignorant of it. You would find yourself doing things. Uh, but, you know, what the world has advanced. Of you, there are some things that you cannot give excuse for. Excuse you me. cannot say, eh, I did not know that we're not supposed to live together because the knowledge is there. It's just that, I don't know, did I say that? They are too foolish not to go and get those knowledge or <laughs> okay so um, yes <laughs> you might say they are ignorant i think that's the word i think ignorance is the word yeah. because you know that the scripture is there for you and whatever you need is in the scripture yeah. so you now like choosing it to do it your own way so whatever the consequences are you face it mm. and you want to also come from a place of let me do everything i would do with my life to please and honor god because at the end of the day you have a creator that you answer to exactly which wow. is True. judgment True. But so don't think like this. yes they don't and that's why you see a lot of things like Happy. this and that's why we are here to talk about these things okay see, are we shaping their, wait their to, wait see. i have a scriptural reference okay, actually okay, okay. and i would like to I even have to Genesis chapter um, seven. First Corinthians seven. It says, "Now, listen, oh, listen carefully. Okay. We are going somewhere." It said, "Now, as to the matters of which you wrote, it is beneficial, advantageous, like it's of great advantage. The advantage, like, is on the high side for a man not to touch a woman outside marriage. marriage. Oh. So the scripture even affirms that a man not." Or to touch a woman outside marriage but because of the temptation to participate in sexual immorality let each man have his own wife so i feel like if you have come to that point where you feel a sense of urgency what you just have to do is follow the right protocol you know and put a ring on it See, as the world would say please i beg help me clap for her help me clap i celebrate grace i celebrate you see see one of the things that people are not understanding actually is that it is this 
is uh, saying like I, I like I would like put it now now I would like put it like oh we do we just make it decisions okay. it's okay and it's over for anything see most of the times people fail to understand that the as far you are still living under the umbrella of, of the flesh yeah. you as far you still have flesh as far you're not you are not a spirit yet yeah. as far you are still breathing well, on, on earth anything, anything is you, bound to happen anything is bound to happen and most especially lost That's and true. temptation yeah. you understand so most especially the devil know in fact the bible did it advise us to pray concerning when it comes to fornication. He said, flee. You understand? You, yes, you understand what happened yes, to Joseph? Yes, yes. No, no explanation. There he, are some... He did, not, he did not say, no, ma. I cannot do He ran away. <laughs> there are some that will be speaking in tongues like Kapo yes. Shagaba. Ah, no Even negotiation. if you speak in tongues as a lady, <laughs> you as a man of you? God, I'm sorry, I'll make I push this one yes, inside. Yes, and uh, um, Pastor Moses, you yes. asked what you said. It's, it's now be, like everything we are saying actually boils down to your value your identity what is your identity do you know it mm. because everything you do flows from a place of your identity Mom is you. Mom is you. okay <laughs> so um and when your identity is from god you don't compromise with the things of the world you do it god's wow, way on god's way oh yeah wait see i think get one thing to say i would like to make a put for our commentator i'll be able to call you soon i bet pay attention no. but what is some people when we say they be christian no like i'm telling you the fact now that they speak it on and the, in fact, if the see lady say, woman, don't naked. I'm sorry if you are watching us alive. Please, I'm so sorry. Some people cannot actually resist this thing because they don't have much knowledge of how to handle this. As a man of God, or all as a minister, except you are uh, supposedly died to That's why the Bible says flee. Uh-huh. Flee, because the Bible wise pass us. If you say me, you speak in tongue, and the Bible says, flee, this like way, flee. Pass. The way it Joseph flee. flee from okay. the first uh-huh. uh-huh. wife. So we had a lot of we we had a lot of Christian brothers, Christian sister yeah. who has fell from yeah. faith. Why? Because People the same thing we are yes. talking about. We have Christ- yes in the church, in the church, in fact, in the church and in the world. Yes. You know, so ma, lift up holy yes. <laughs> So, uh, please, I would really love for us to work on all these things. Some of the temptations oh. that you are, this thing is really, really, is really, really, is really, 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 is a concern and that's the responsibility you and I have to use our voice, you know, to be a difference in our world. Okay, but wait to so before we go now like like this now, now what do you see me with? Okay, so I'll um, just read the particular scripture. That's Genesis chapter two, verse twenty-four. And it says, um, therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and his mother and hold fast to his wife, and he shall Okay. The Bible did not say Genesis that, what again? Genesis chapter 2 verse 24. Okay. The Bible did not say that a man would leave his father and mother and cleave to his girlfriend. Mm-hmm. He said to his wife. To his somebody wife. Somebody you are legally married, married to. Married to. Aha. Mm-hmm. So that mm-hmm. mm-hmm. your boyfriend, you are wrong. Yes. You are wrong. That's yes. Wrong. You are not doing it God's way. You are, you are not doing it in a godly way. I don't know what's wrong with my sound. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know okay. the problem you have with because sound. of the topical, you know. The, 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 but we, we have to push positivity, whether you like it or not. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> so we, uh, I wish we have more time to talk yes. about this, but, but we, like we have subsequent episodes, right? Yeah, yeah. We'd like to see you. <laughs> okay. So, so we'd like to. Um, come to an end today but we are not ending here like we said when we're starting that we do not come to you by chance so do well to subscribe to our youtube channel ipen tv and so that when we get to upload any video you would be notified so um pastor moses quickly oh, quickly quickly if you quickly, quickly, they watch us i know say as we talk this word the holy ghost they touch you god they touch you everything when they touch you they touch you and you won't give your life to christ just pray this prayer after me say lord jesus lord jesus i'm sorry have mercy upon me i'm clean sorry, my name from the book of death clean my name and write my name in the book of life all right i believe you died for me and on the third day you rose again help me to walk in righteousness and in holiness in the name of jesus i accept you now as my personal lord and savior 
personal Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Bye, Bye everyone.